Hallelujah. Amen. We said in the last in the season of God, part one, that to everything there is a season and a time for purpose under heaven. You have to be better in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter number three, verse one to eight. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 to 8. If you can't go on every summer.
the likes of a cat, the likes of a dog. Kuna wengine wanao tabia kama za ungwa, wengine wanao tabia kama za paka. The same people that comes to you to embrace you. Watu hawa hawa wanao kuja kwao kufurahisha. They show you that you are together. Wanakuonyesha kwamba mu pamoja. Doesn't mean like that. Haimaanishi hivyo. So you must be able to differentiate between these two people. Lazima uwe kwa nafsi ili ya kutafautisha watu hawa. You might be laughing with somebody here. Unaweza furahia na mtu meaning that you're not there together. Kumaanisha hamko. So the face it is always lying to you. Uso unakudanganya. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So we must be having other people here. Lazima tuwe na watu kama hawa hapa. Others we might be having here. Wengine tunaweza wakosa hapa. La laughing with them. Tunaweza kosa hapa kucheka na wao. But we are lakini tu pamoja na wao. In the same spirit. Na tuko katika kiroho. So some people who are in this our lives. Kwa watu hao ambao wako katika maisha yetu. It needs the grace of God to know them. Inatakana tu tuwe na neema ya Mwenyezi Mungu ili tuwa. These are not God's kisses. Wakati mwingine sio vyote ni vya Mungu. Some kisses are Judas kisses. Wengine ni vya Juda. They are betraying you. Wanakuja tu kukusaliti. The way you are seeing them with you. Ile unavyoona pamoja na wewe. It is not that way. Sio hivyo hivyo. Needs the grace of God for us to see. Tunahitaji tu neema za Mungu ili tukakae pamoja na wao. Praise the living God. Na Yesu asifiwe. So let us go to the season of God part 2. Twende nyakati za Mungu sehemu ya pili. Praise the living God. Amen. To everything there is a season. Kwa kila jambo kunalo wakati. And a purpose under heaven. Na sababu juu ya bingu. So in this manner, kwa hivyo hii, Bible says, Biblia inasema, there is a time to cry, there is a time to do all those things. Kuna wakati wa kulikuwa kufanya mamba haya yote. The living God. Na Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there will always be a season in a man's life. Kuna kwa kwa kila manadamu na wakati wote, where God will be proving the tendencies wakati Mungu atakuwa anadhibitisha matendo yake where God will be proving his ways wakati Mungu atakuwa anadhibitisha mafito yake where God will be proving and testing you wakati Mungu atakuwa anadhibitisha kwa kukujaribu be testing the, the things that can abort your glorious future atakuwa anajaribu vitu vile ambavyo anaweza kuja kuharibu maisha yako ya baadaye he will be trying to test the things that anakuja ili vitu sio na kuja kuharibu maisha yako praise the living god na yesu asifiwe and let me tell you the truth wacha nikuambie ukwe this is about the hardest time hii ni kuhusu wakati face wakati mgumu in the life of a believer kwa mwanadamu ambaye anaamini who are a believer ambaye ni muumini who is a believer muumini ni nani nani anaweza jibu hiyo who is a muumini ni nani A believer. Mumini ni nani? Mtu ambaye amekutoa kazi ya Mungu. So a believer is somebody who is dedicated in the work of God. Mumini ni mtu yule ambaye ametukwa majukumu ya kutenda kazi ya Mungu. So at this season, wakati huu, at this season of test, wakati huu wa majaribu, God is going to test you. Mungu anaenda kujaribu. God is going to put you into test. Mungu anaenda kuweka katika majaribu. The challenges are going to come. Changamoto zinakuja. The all these things are going to come unto you. Alafu vitu hivi vyote vinaenda kuja kwako wewe. This your glorious future. Kujaribu maisha yako ya baadaye. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So why are you going through these challenges? Kwa nini tunapitia changamoto hizi zote? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Kwa nini? Because it is at this moment, kwa sababu wakati huu, it is at this time, wakati huu, that you are going to live and experience the silence of God. Unaenda kuhisi kunyamaza kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. You are going to experience the silence of God. Unaenda kuhisi kunyamaza kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Not just once, sio mara moja tu, not twice, sio twice, sio experience and live in the silence of God once and for all. Kunyamaza kwa Mwenyezi Mungu mara moja na viishe kabisa the living God. Inaweza kufanya kwamba Mungu ametusahau. It's not that way. Sio hivyo. 
God is with you. Mungu yupo pamoja nawe. He's just testing you. Ni vile anajaribu tu. He's putting you into test. Anakuweka kwenye majaribu. Praise the living. Prove that this season. Na kama hautaelewa kwamba una unajaribu kwa wakati huu. You will waste that season. Unaenda kuharibu nyakati hiyo. And the destiny that was prophesied about your life. Na mambo ambayo yame tabiriwa katika maisha yako will never ever come to pass. Haenda kuja kutendeka. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So it takes time. Itachukua muda for true destiny kwa hatima ya ukweli. For true success kwa ufanisi wa ukweli to come to pass. Ili kuje utimie. No matter how you hide this destiny, haijalishi hatima itakuja aje. Haijalishi. Unayarakisha haje. Itachukua God's true success. Ili Mungu akuje adhibitishe ufanisi. For God's true success. Ufanisi wa kweli wa Mungu to manifest in your life. Uonekane katika maisha yako. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Some of us are very fast. Wengine wetu tu katika mbio, they do things in a very fast way. Tunaharakisha vitu haraka. God's time. Hawa patient. Kuwa mvumilivu wait until the time of God. Mwenyezi Mungu. He will do everything. When his time comes, wakati wake ukifika, he will make everything beautiful unto his own image. Atatengeneza kila kitu kama yeye mwenyewe. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Which person are you today? Wewe ni nani leo hii? You are first a person to are you quick to make decisions? Wewe ni mtu wa kufanya uamuzi haraka? Don't be quick to make decisions. Siwe mtu wa uamuzi wa haraka. Some Sometimes plan to act upon something. Waka, wakati mwingine pia jifunze kufanya kitu kwa wakati. Be a person of order. Kuwa mtu wa mipangilio. Because God is a God of order. Sababu Mungu ni Mungu wa mipangilio. Wakati wake ukiwalia, he will make everything beautiful unto his own. Ajate kitu nzuri ambacho kinamfanana na yeye. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Because his time is perfect. Kwa sababu wakati wake Haleluya. Haleluya. We are going to look in the book of Hebrews kitabu cha Waburania chapter 6 and verse 15 6:15 Hebrews in the New Testament wa Waburania 6:15 iko in the New Testament Hebrews 6:15 He realized that the promise in the miraculous path of Isaac as a pledge was to come uh, from God. So the Bible says Biblia inasema hivi and so after he had patiently awaited He obtained the promise. Praise the living God. Amen. Who is this that the Bible is speaking about? Biblia inazungumza kuhusu nani? It's speaking about one man. Anazungumzia mtu mmoja. Speaking about one man. Zungumzia kuhusu mtu mmoja. Who it took the grace of God. Ambaye ilimgharibu Mungu. It took the season of God. Wakati wa Mungu. For God to take him into process. Ili Mungu akampitishie wakati wa changamoto that god took him through the season ili mungu akampitishie katika majira the season of faith majira ya, ya amani the season of patience majira ya uvumilivu for god to bless his life ili mungu akaibariki maisha yake afterwards baada ya haya after passing the test baada ya kupita majaribu god bless his life mungu alibariki maisha yake god bless his descendants mungu alibariki kizazi chake this man is abraham mtu huu ni abraham if you read from verse 1 up to where we have mentioned ukisoma kutoka mstari wa kwanza hadi mahali tumefika you will see this person is abraham utaona mtu huyu ni abraham the man of faith mwa baba wa imani man of faith baba wa imani praise the living god amen god bless abraham mungu alibariki abraham at his old age katika umri wake ambao ulikuwa umesonga zaidi at this at his age 
wakati wake wa ujana God was taking him through the season of test. Mungu alimpitia katika majira ya ujaribu and he passed the test. Na akapita majira ya kujaribu. Some of us are in that test right now. Wengine wetu katika majira haya ya kujaribu but are, but are not desiring to be in that test. Lakini hatutamani kuwa katika majaribu haya. They are failing the test. Tunaruka mtihani wa majaribu. They are not understanding that in the test. Hatuelewi kwamba tuko katika majaribu. They are reporting the destiny. Wao wana haraka tu ya kufika hatima. Praise the living God. Amen. So let us be patient and wait on the Lord. Tuwe wakumbujivu na wakati wa Mwenyezi Mungu. Because his time is perfect. Kwa sababu wakati wake ni wakati bora. When his time comes, wakati wake ukiwalia, he will make everything beautiful. Atatengeneza kila kitu cha thamana and his own image. Katika mfano wake mwenyewe. Abraham had to go through process. Abraham alipitia majira haya. After going through this process, baada ya kupitia hali hii, he succeeded. Alifaulu. He succeeded. Alifaulu. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let us all succeed in our season of process. Waka sisi wote tufaulu katika majaribu yetu. And we will shall succeed. Tonga mbele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, we have to go through process in our life with God. Kwa nini tupitie majira ya kujaribiwa kuna Mungu? I want to give you about 45 reasons. Nataka nikupe kuhusu vitu 45 sababu. 45 reasons hadi tano sababu nne hadi tano why we should go through process with god ni kwa nini tupitie mapito haya kupitia kwa Mwenyezi Mungu haya na Mungu haleluya number one. one cha kwanza if you are writing you can write kile chini lakini what the process is god mbona tupitie wakati huu na Mwenyezi Mungu Hallelujah. Amen. Why should we go through process with our God? Mbona tupitie wakati huu ama wakati wa kujaribu na Mungu? Hallelujah. Amen. What does process do in our life? Mapito haya yanafanya nini katika maisha yetu? What is it do in our life to make us succeed? Ni nini yanafanyika katika maisha yetu ili tukafaulu? mapito So number one we say cha kwanza ni why do we have to go through process God Kwa nini tupite mapito haya na Mungu Number cha kwanza Process tests mapito yanajaribu your loyalty and commitment kujitoa kwako kwa Mungu to fulfill in your destiny ili kudhibitisha Praise the living God Amen process tests your loyalty mapito yanajaribu mapito ya mapito yako yanajaribu process tests your loyalty and commitment mapito inajaribu au kujitoa kwako process tests your loyalty and commitment mapito inajaribu kujitoa kwako to fulfill in your destiny So why do we have to go through this with God? Mbona tupite mapito na Mwenyezi Mungu? Not just your loyalty, sio tu kujitoa kwako, not just your commitment, sio tu kujitoa kwako, but serving God. Ila kumu kumtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Are you that committed to serve the Lord? Umejitoa ili kumfanyia Mwenyezi Mungu? Are you first to serve the Lord? Uko tayari kumfanyia Mwenyezi Mungu. Uenda, are you ready? Uko tayari. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So when we go through process, wakati tunapitia mapito, we will be able tutakuwa tayari kuwa na uwezo wa kutumikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Sababu umeenda na mapito na Mungu. So process test your loyalty. Kwa hivyo mapito inajaribu kujitoa kwako. Process test your loyalty and commitment. Mapito inajaribu kujitoa kwako na ku kumtumikia to fulfill in your destiny. Ili ahakikishe hatima yako. Praise the living God. Amen. Are you that determined to make it? 
Uko tayari kujitoa na kufaulu to move to the next level. Ili ukaenda katika hatua ya pili. So God will take you through process. Mungu atakupitia katika mapito. It will make you yeah, kufanya kuna wimbo inasema umefinya Mungu atakufinya atakufinyanga hadi uingiane na yeye. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us go in the book of Luke chapter 9. Luke 9:5 verse 62. Luke 9 Jesus said unto him, Yesu akasema, No man puts his hand to the plow and looks back na angalie nyuma. is fit for the kingdom of God. Yeye, yuka tayari katika ufani wa mungu. Are you ready to serve the Lord? Uko tayari kumutumikia mungu. When you are ready to serve the Lord, kama uko tayari kumutumikia, no matter what comes, haijalishi nini kinakuja. We will look front. We angalia mbele ama tazama mbele. And you will see the kingdom of God. Kisha utawana ufando. If you see, ukika nyuma. If you remember the the things of the past, you will not succeed. Hauta faulu. You will not fulfill the destiny of God. Hauta faulu hati mayamungu. Praise the living God. Amen. If we read, if we 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 would have read from verse one. Kama tuke soma kwanza mustan dogo wa kwanza. We we tungeona ya kwamba. This verse God uh, was feeding the 5000 people. Katika ujumbe hii Mwenyezi Mungu Yesu aliwaadisha watu zaidi ya 5000. With two fish, wili, five loaves of bread, na mikate mitano. How was uaje rafiki? Praise the living God. Amen. So it takes the hand of God. Kwa hiyo inagharimu wakati wa Mungu to fulfill the grace of God. Ili kudhibitisha neema zake. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. So we should not look back. Tusiangalie nyuma tusarage ama tusazame nyuma. We say that in the name of Jesus. Tunasema kwamba katika jina la Yesu we are able to do great things. Tuko tayari kutenda makuu. We are able to move forward. Songa mbele. To the next level. Kwa hatua inayofuata. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It might be very painful. Inaweza kuwa ya machungu. But we must succeed. Lazima tufaulu. It might be very hard. Inaweza kuwa ngumu, but you are going to pass that exam. Lakini upitie mtihani huu. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It might be very difficult. Inaweza kuwa ngumu, but you are going to have great intercessors here. Lakini tunaenda kupata hapa waombezi wakuu. Praise the living God. Amen. It might be very difficult. Inaweza kuwa ngumu, but this church is going to grow. Kanisa hili linaenda kukua. It's going to move from one level to another. Inaenda kusonga katika hatua ya kwanza hadi hatua inayofuata. It's going to be the best church in this moment. Inaenda kukua kanisa kuu ama kanisa kubwa katika maeneo haya. We are going to have great ministers here. Tunaenda kuwa na wadumu wakuu hapa. Because of the grace of God. Kwa sababu ya neema tu za Mungu. We see God feeding the 5000 people. Tunaona Mungu anayowadisha watu 1500. The disciples came to him wanafunzi walija kwake walimujia they told him wakamuuliza we only have this tunaye tu hai hizi two fish samaki wawili and five loaves of bread na mimi kate but god told them lakini yesu akawajibu it is possible inawezekana wariness mbona unusuhusuwe na shaka all things are possible vitu vyote vinawezekana to jesus everything is possible kwa yesu kila jambo linawezekana so you must believe in him kwa hivyo nafuatu muamini trust in him lazima tum 
tumwamini yeye we must put ourselves unto his way lazima tuende nafsi zetu kwake we must dedicate our ways unto him lazima tujitoe wakfu mbele zake it might be seen not seenable inaweza onekana haiwezekani but to god is possible lakini kwa Mwenyezi Mungu inawezekana praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe it might be gradual inaweza kuwa ni ngumu but we are going to move forward lakini tunaenda kusonga mbele we are going to be to be the people we aspire to be tunaenda kuwa watu ambao tunatamani kuwa because of the grace of god kwa sababu ya neema za Mungu praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe so here jesus said unto him hapa yesu akawaambia the one who looks back yeyote anayetazama nyuma is not fit for hasahili katika ufalme huu wa Mungu no matter what comes to you haijalishi ni nini nakuja mbele doesn't matter haijali what matters is the grace of god kinacho majalisha ni neema za Mungu to be upon your life i neema za Mungu ziwe juu yako so obtain this grace kwa hivyo wakati huu wa neema obtain it okay mneema hizi for you to move on ili usonge mbele let the challenges not disrupt you changamoto zisije zikakusumbua let them not put you back changamoto zikurudishe nyuma for god look for god loves us all kwa sababu Mwenyezi Mungu anatupenda wote he doesn't want you to look back haijali haistahili wewe kuangalia nyuma because the past hurts kwa sababu zilizopita zilipita you might you be remembering the past things unaweza kumbuka vile vilivyopita and the, when remembering them wakati nakumbuka might not move forward hauwezi songa mbele so when someone tells you about the past mtu anapokuambia kuhusu vilivyopita sometimes it might hurt you yakati nyingine zinaweza kukuhati kukuumiza Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So the past things hurt you a lot. Nilivyopita vinakudhuru zaidi. Many people take it as a testimony. Wakati mwingine watu wanatoa kama ushuhuda. They tell the people. Tunaambia watu. But they they are not happy. Lakini hawafurahi. When the same people they were with them the past. Wakati watu waliokuwa ni pamoja na wao wakati uliopita, they have not changed. Hawajabadilika. They come to them. Wanaja kwao. They remind them about the past. Wanakumbusha kuhusu vilivyopita. It really hurts. Inaaumiza. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So when you are dedicated to move forward. Wakati umewekewa wakfu na usonge mbele. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You should not look back. Usitazame nyuma. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So why do we have to go through process of God? Kwa nini tunafaa tupitie mapito haya na Mwenyezi Mungu? Which number are we now? Tumefika nambari ya pili. Tunaenda ya pili. Number 2. Tukoko Why do we have to go through process of God? Mbona tupitie mapitio na Mwenyezi Mungu? Number 2 cha pili. Nani anaandika? Kama unaandika uko tayari. Why do we have to go through process of God? Mbona tupite mapito na Mwenyezi Mungu? Process builds patience. Mapito inatengeneza uvumilivu. Process builds patience. Ma, ma, mapito inatengeneza uvumilivu. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You know there are some people kuna watu wengine who it takes the grace of God ambao inachukua neema za Mungu for them to become patient ili wao wavumilivu that when we look in the book of james katika kitabu cha yakobo james yakobo chapter 1 yakobo mlango wa kwanza verse 2 to 3 mstari mdogo wa 2 hadi 3 yakobo mlango wa kwanza 2 hadi 3 ukifika hapo unaweza soma ndugu zangu hesabuni ya kuwa ni furaha tu ukiangukia katika majaribu mbalimbali mkifahamu ya kuwa kujaribiwa kwa imani yenu kuleta zaburi praise the living god amen james 1 2 3 yakobo 1 2 3 it takes the discipline of god inagarimu heshima za mungu It takes the discipline of process inamgarimu kwa heshima za mapito for some people 
kwa watu wengine become patient in life wao wavumilivu katika maisha praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya so we live in a generation of impatience tunaishi katika maisha ambayo ama kizazi ambacho hachijui kuvumilia haleluya haleluya People are hurrying up things. Watu wanakimbiza maneno. People are taking things very fast. Watu wanakimbiza maneno haraka. They don't know God's time is perfect. Hawajui kwamba wakati wa Mungu ndio wakati tunaofaa. When God time come, wakati wa Mungu kiwalia, he will make everything beautiful in his own image. Atafanya vitu hivyo vya thamana katika umfano wake. So why are you hurrying? Mbona unaharakisha? Where to? Unaenda wapi? It takes the discipline of God. Inagarimu heshima tu za Mungu. This discipline of God, heshima hizi za Mungu is, is the way God is going to put you to take you into process. Ni njia moja Mungu anaenda kukuweka katika mapito. For you to become disciplined. Ili uwe mtu mwenye heshima. For you to become patient in life. Ili uwe mtu mwenye kuvumilia. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. When it is true, na wakati kama ni ukweli, that God is a God of speed. Ni Mungu ni Mungu wa kutenena. There is a difference between speed and rush. Kuna tofauti wa kuharakisha na kuenda katika mwendo wa kasi. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It takes the grace of God. Inachukua tu neema za Mungu. I've said here Nimesema hapa when it is true God is a God of speed kama ukweli Mungu ni Mungu wa haraka there is a difference between speed and rush kuna tofauti wa haraka na mwendo wa kazi God does not rush people Mungu harakishi watu God gives people speed Mungu anawapa mwendo after he has built them baada ya kuwatengeneza God gives people speed Mungu anawapa mwendo after he has built them baada ya kuwaunda after he has made them baada ya kuwatengeneza so god does not rush people mungu hawarakishi watu praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe why are you hurrying to go to mbona uharakishe unaenda wapi and, the, and we have said that god is not a god of speed tumesema kwamba mungu si mungu wa mwendo he does not rush people yeye hapeleki watu haraka. When he rushes you, wakati anakuharakisha, he has built you. Amekuumba. When he rushes you, wakati anakuharakisha, he has made you. Amekutengeneza. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us go in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 43. Mlango wa 43. Isaiah 43 Isaiah 43 verse 1 Isaiah 43 kuanzia penyewe to two hadi hii lakini sasa bwana aliyekukuruku e yakobo yeye aliyekuumba e israeli asema hivi usiogope maana nimekukomboa nimekuita kwa jina lako wewe kuwangu ukitapo katika maji mengi mtakuwa pamoja nawe na katika mito haitakukarikisha uendapo katika moto utateketea wala mwali wa moto hauta But now that says the Lord. Sasa asema Mwenyezi Mungu, He who formed you, ye yule aliyekuumba, O Israel, ewe Yakobo, fear not. Usiogope, for I have redeemed you. Sababu nimekutengeneza upya. I have called you by your by your mind. Nimekuita na akili zangu. When you pass through waters, wakati ulipitia maji, I will be with you. Nitakuwa na wewe. Through the rivers. Kwa mito, kwa mito, they shall not overwhelm you. Na mito haitakuzidi. When you walk through fire, wakati unapita kwenye moto, you, should, you shall not be burned. Hautachomeka. And the flames shall not consume you. Na miale za moto hazikukudhuru. Verse three says, Mstari wa 3 nasema, I am the Lord your God. Mimi Bwana Mungu wako, the holy one of Israel. Mtakatifu wa Israeli, your savior. Mkombozi wako I give Egypt to as your ransom. Nampa Israeli kwako 
and sever in exchange of you. Na hili kwa kubadilisha wewe. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Pamoja nao. Nothing is impossible. Hakuna ambacho hatiwezekani. Last time the Spirit of God part 1 we say that katika nyakati za Mungu sehemu ya kwanza tulisema in the book of Luke chapter 9 katika kitabu cha Luka 9 verse 23 23 we say that tulisema it is not late si haujaelewa to know that to God everything is possible unjua kwamba kwa Mungu kila jambo linawezekana Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I've said last time the season of God part 1 we say that. Wakati uliopita tulisema kwamba Luke 9:23. Luka 9:23. It is never too late. Haujaelewa to believe that in God all things are possible. Kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kila kitu linawezekana. When you put your trust in God, ukieka uamini wako kwa Mwenyezi Mungu, you shall go forward. Utaenda mbali. You shall march forward. Utasonga mbele. You shall move forward greatly. Utasonga mbele kwa ukuu. Praise the living God. Na Yesu asifiwe. So in this book of Isaiah chapter 43 was 1 Isaiah 43:1 we see here Chapter 2 it says Tunaona mstari wa 2 ukisema When you pass through waters wakati unapitia kwenye maji mengi I will be with you nitakuwa pamoja nao And through the rivers na kwenye mito you shall not overwhelm you Mito haitakuzidi When you walk through fire wakati unapita kwenye moto you shall not be burned Hautachomeka And the flames na miale za mioto shall not consume you Haenda kudhuru Praise the living God Bwana Yesu asifiwe So here I like verse 2 hapa nafurahia mstari wa pili where it is saying wakati unasema where you do not when you pass through fire wakati unapita katikati ya moto not when you pass through fire but when you walk through fire wakati unapita katikati ya moto praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe so why do we have to walk through fire bona tupite katikati ya moto Bible has not said when you rush. Biblia haijasema uharakishe. Bible has not say when you sit. Biblia haijasema unapokaa. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, when you walk through fire, wakati unapita kwenye moto. What is this fire doing in our life? Moto huu unafanya nini katika maisha yetu? Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Why should we walk, walk through fire with God? Mbona tupite kwa moto na Mungu? Not just fire. Sio moto tu, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Moto wa Roho Mtakatifu. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So why should we walk through fire with God? Bwana tupite kwenye moto na Mungu. Because this fire, sababu moto huu, has an assignment. Kunao jukumu to roast many things out of your life. Kuchoma vitu mingi katika maisha yako. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This, a, this fire has an assignment to roast many things out of your life. Moto huu unayo jukumu wa kuchoma vitu mingi katika maisha yako. When you pass through fire, wakati unapita katikati ya moto, some of us will begin to change. Wengine wetu tutaanza kubadilika. Your spiritual way of life will change. Unaanza kubadilika kiroho, maisha ya kiroho. Praise the living God. Na Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Katikati ya moto, some of us will begin to change. Tutaanza kubadilika. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So why should we go walk through this fire? Mbona tupite katikati ya moto? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You shall not be burned. Hatutachomwa. The flames shall not consume you. Miale za moto hazitatuduru. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. This fire is very powerful. Moto huu ni moto wa ajabu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will burn bright utawaka na ukali it will burn all the bad things that happen in our lives itachoma vitu ambavyo havistahili katika maisha yetu it will burn the things that we see that are not possible in our lives itachoma vitu ambavyo haviwezekani katika maisha yetu we will see things are possible tutaona vitu vikifanyika so when we pass through this fire tukipita kwenye moto huu not even the tears will accelerate the pace hata sio tu machozi yatakapotelekea kwenye ujuzo zetu but we shall we shall not be consumed lakini hatuta atarika praise the living god amen 
So when you when some things there are some things that cannot be consumed by water. Kuna vitu zingine haziwezi kudhuriwa na maji. So we saw that in the verse 2. Tunaona haya katika mstari wa 2. When it says when you pass through the waters, inasema unapopita kwenye maji, I will be with you. Nitakuwa pamoja nao. And through the rivers. Na hata kwenye mito. So there are some things kwa hivyo kuna vitu vingine water cannot remove maji hayawezi kutoa not even the strength of a river hata isikuwe mkubwa kiasi gani mto but it, it will take fire lakini itahitaji moto for it to happen ndio vitu vingine zitendeke praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe so when we walk through this fire tunapopita katika tu moto we are going to change. Tunaenda kubadilika. Fire is going to make us. Moto unaenda kututengeneza upya. Fire is going to build us. Moto unaenda kutumpa upya. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And when it comes to a time, wakati tunapowadia, when we are going to come out of this fire. Wakati naenda kutoka nje wa moto huu. There is a saying which says, "Kunao usema unao sema." Uh, as a light as a feather. Oh, ye pesi kama derudi. Ye upe kama ye derudi. Praise the living God. Amen. Amen. So when time comes, as light as a feather. Ye pesi kama ubawa. Praise the living God. Amen. So when time comes, wakati tunapowadia, when we are going to come out of this fire, wakati naenda kutoka nje wa moto, we will be as light as a feather. Tutakuwa nyepesi kama ubawa. Praise the living God. That fire right now. Wakati wengine wetu tuko katika moto huu wakati huu. Some of us are in that fire right now. Wengine wetu wako kwenye moto huu wakati huu. It is not always a demonic attack. Sio tu umeandamwa na mashetani. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Because the anointing of the Holy Spirit, sababu upako wa Roho Mtakatifu, does not fight God. Haupigani na Mungu. The anointing of the Holy Spirit, upako wa Roho Mtakatifu, was designed to fight Satan. Ulitengeneza ili kupigana na mashetani. So the anointing does not fight God. Kwa hivyo upako wa upigane na Mwenyezi Mungu. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So when you are going through challenges, wakana pitia changamoto, and you see some things are not happening, unaona vitu zingine havitendeki. You are praying without ceasing, unaomba pasipo kupumzika. Nothing is happening. Hakuna inachotendeka. It is because ni sababu fire does not fight God. Moto haupigani na Mwenyezi Mungu. No, the anointing does not fight God. Upako upigane na Mwenyezi Mungu. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. Upako wa Roho Mtakatifu was designed to fight Satan. Uliumbwa kupigana na mashetani. Maybe you are praying amiss. Labda unaomba you are praying for your enemies to Una, fall. Unaomba ili maadui wako waanguke. You are praying for bad things to happen to them. Unaomba vitu vibaya vitendeke kwao. Let me tell you the truth. Nikwambie ukweli. Fire that the anointing of the Holy Spirit upako wa Mwenyezi wa Roho Mtakatifu does not fight God. Haupigani na Mungu. So don't pray like that. Usiombe maombi aina hiyo and expect something to happen. Na utarajie mambo kutendeka. It will fall apart. Itaanguka kinyume. Fail terribly. Utaanguka fedi kinyume. Change your prayers. Badilisha maombi. Begin to pray good. Anza kuomba maombi ambayo yanafaa. Begin to pray and Thank God each and every day. Ompa na ushukuru Mungu kila wakati na kila siku. Begin to pray and pray for your enemies. Anza kuomba na uombe hata na uombe maadui zao. Pray for them to succeed. Waombe ili wafaulu and God is going to bless you. Na Mungu anakubariki. If you pray otherwise, ukiomba kinyume and you think God is with you. Na udhani kama Mungu yuko pamoja nawe. It not happen. Haitatendeka. The anointing does not fight God. Upako haupigani na Mwenyezi Mungu. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. Upako wa Roho Mtakatifu was designed to fight Satan. Ulitengenezwa upigana na mashetani. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I'm speaking to someone this morning. Nazungumza na mtu asubuhi hii. You might be in that season of process. Unaweza kuwa katika mapito ya kupita. Where you are fulfilling the law of process. Wakati unahakikisha Unatekeleza. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Who is that person right now? It might be you. It might be someone passing there outside. It might be someone in the house. It might be anyone. It might be even myself. It might be going through that season. And you are fulfilling the law of process. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, my encouragement to you, my encouragement to you, the one that we, the one who is going through that season, don't abort destiny. CO2 Hatima. Don't abort destiny. Usidani tuni hatimai. Obtain the grace. Kuwa na neema. For you to stay there. Ili ukaeza kukaa ndani. Praise the living God. Wana yeah. yeshasikiu. So the one who is going through the process of fulfillment. Yeyota na ipitia hatima. za hatima. To fulfill the season of God. Ili sheria hizi sitimilike. Don't abort destiny. Obtain the grace to stay there. Amen. Praise the living God. Because when it is done, there is something fire is doing. And when it is done, everything will be okay. So obtain the grace to stay there. Don't abort destiny. Praise the living God. Amen. So this fire is very, very powerful. Praise the living God. We are not just saying the fire of the Holy Ghost. But this other fire. So we say that there is no kitchen that is called Why? Why? Who knows? Nani anajua? Watu unaanza huko bila simu. There is no kitchen that is cold. Hamuna jikoni ambayo ni baridi. I just seen an answer here. Mpata jibu jawabu. Wamesema because that is where food is being prepared. Nasema jikoni ni mahali pa chakula kinaandaliwa kwa hivyo kuwezo kuwa baridi. So there is no kitchen that is cold. Kwa hivyo hamuna jikoni ambayo ni baridi. Because that is where food is being prepared. Sababu mwondo unawaka kila wakati huko. Sababu hapo ni chakula ya kwa hivyo. Yes. Amen. Why is it making it to be cold? Mbona to be hot? Nini kinatengeneza jikoni kuwa moto? It is because ni kwa sababu food is being prepared. Chakula kinaandaliwa kule. Because of fire. Kwa sababu ya moto. This fire you are seeing. Moto huu ambao unaona unaona about. Ambao tunazungumza kuhusu. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Moto wa Roho Mtakatifu. And the fire that we are using today. Na moto ambao tumetumia saa hii ya siku. It's very very powerful. Ni moto ambao wa maajabu. So we we saw in the book of uh, Isaiah 43 verse 1 to 2 to 3. Tuliona haya katika kitabu cha Isaiah 43:1 moja. Where well, he just mentioned that. Ambapo tumetaja. He said in verse 2, Star wa pili. That's why I said I love verse 2. When it says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Through the rivers, you shall not overwhelm you. Praise the fire. You will not be consumed. Nor even the flesh shall consume you. Na hata miyale za moto zita kuduru. The fire shall not burn you. Na moto hauta kuchoma. Praise the living God. Wala yesa sifiru. I say therefore. Nilisema kwa hivyo. 
This fire has an assignment. To roast many things out of our lives. Praise the living God. So this fire is very, very powerful. Amen. When he walked through fire, he never walked through fire. 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 Some of us will begin to change shape. Watu wengine tunaanza kubadilika. Some of us will begin to change color. Watu wengine tutabadilika rangi. Some of us will have appetite. Watu wengine tutakuwa na tamaa because fire is doing its work. Kwa sababu moto unafanya kazi yake. Praise the living God. Yeah. So this fire moto huu has an assignment unayo jukumu to do many things kufanya vitu vingi to roast many things kuchoma vitu vingi out of your life nje ya maisha yako those people who are sinners watu ambao wanatenda dhambi when they, they walk through fire wanapopita kwenye moto it will burn the sins itasoma itachoma mbegu ama dhambi and it will burn all the things that they do that are not contrary to the will of God. So when you walk through this fire, you will see great things. You will move to the next level. Praise the living God. And we have said there is no kitchen that is called. Baridi. because of fire kwa sababu ya moto so this fire is very very powerful kwa hivyo moto huu ni moto wa maajabu praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe so the signature of every kitchen kwa hivyo sahihi ya jikoni yoyote ile even if when you are blind hata kama wewe ni kipofu you will know that you are in the kitchen utajua tu hapa niko jikoni ndio praise the living god amen because of fire kwa sababu ya moto when you are blind kama wewe ni kipofu you will know that you are in the kitchen utajua tu uko kwa jikoni because of fire sababu ya moto when you go there ukienda huko the flames of fire nianze za moto we begin to feel them utaanza kuihisi we begin to utakamu kwa jikoni utasikia harufu praise the living god amen na utajua automatically uko jikoni. Praise the living God. Amen. So this fire is very very powerful. Moto huu ni moto wa maajabu. We have to obtain this fire. Lazima tumiliki moto huu. To move the next level. Ili tuende hatua inayofuata. So the season of God part 2. Nyakati za Mungu sehemu ya pili. Today we have read this season. Wakati leo hii tumesoma nyakati huu nyakati hizi you say you have to go through the season of process lazima upitie mapito ya kutengenezwa and this season of process na mapito ya kutengenezwa we are find that we are found that tumepata ni kwamba you have to go through fire lazima upitie kwenye moto for you to succeed ili ufaulu and this fire will not just come like that na moto huu hautakuja tu hii kuja kama matokeo ya uchungu when you go through this fire ukipitia kwenye moto will not just come like that hautakuja tu hivyo we will have to go through pain utapitia machungu disruptions utapitia kusumbuliwa so many things will happen in your life vitu vingi vitatendeka katika maisha yako for you to become that person ili uwe ule mtu who is patient in life ambaye amevumilia kwa maisha so god will take you through this season of process kwa hivyo mungu anakupitishia mapito haya ya kutengenezwa to make you fulfill the law of god ili ukuje udhibitishe sheria za Mwenyezi Mungu so when you succeed kwa hivyo unapofaulu and remember you you went through process na ukumbuke ulipitia kwenye kutengenezwa you will not go back hautarudi nyuma The, that book of James 1:2 to 3 we say kwa katika kitabu cha Yakobo 1 we said that tulisema kwamba when you go through the season of god wakati unapopita katika mapito ya Mungu you will not look back hautatazama nyuma because back it hurts kwa sababu nyuma inaumiza praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe so when you go through fire wakati unapita kwenye moto it is not very easy sio rahisi It's not very easy. Sio rahisi. It may be, it may come as a result of lacking money. 
inaweza kuja kama njia ya kukosa pesa you might lack finances unaweza kosa pesa you might lack the things that you want to have unaweza kosa vitu ambavyo unataka kuwa navyo but let the fire do its work lakini wacha moto utende kazi yake some of us as i say wengine wetu vile nilivyosema are in that fire right now wako kwenye moto saa hizi god has brought this to me obtain the grace to stay there kuwa na neema ya kukaa hapo praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe because there is something fire is doing kwa sababu kuna kitu moto unafanya and when it is done na moto ukimaliza you will enjoy utafurahia you will see god is on your side utaona mungu yuko pamoja nao so let the fire do its work wacha moto utende kazi yake do not just come like that usije tu hivyo hivyo to come as a result of pain itakuja kama matokeo ya uchungu come as a result of disadvantages in your life itakuja kama matokeo ya vitu ambavyo vimekuthuru kama maisha itakuja kama as a result of many certificates itakuja na matokeo ya vieti tofauti so you you will not like it hautakupenda hautaipenda and if you do not understand that you have been proven by god kama hautaelewa kwamba umehakikishwa na Mungu you will waste that season utaribu muda huo and you will find out that na utapata the destiny that was prophesied about your life hatima ambayo ilitolewa unabii kuhusu maisha yako ever come to pass haitakuja kufanyika praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe tena which number are we now number 3 kifungu cha tatu. so why do we have to go through process with god mbona tupite mapito na mungu why do we have to go through process in this season with god mbona tupite kwenye mapito na mungu number one we say cha kwanza tulisema process test your loyalty mapito inajaribu process test your loyalty and commitment Mapito inajaribu kujitoa kwako to fulfill in your destiny ili kuhakikisha hatima yako that are you that determined to make it tulisema kwamba uko tayari kuyafanya process Hat- mapito it test your loyalty inajaribu kujitoa kwako and commitment to fulfill in the destiny ili kudhibitisha hatima yako ya baadaye number two we say cha pili tumesema process builds patience mapito inatengeneza uvumilivu we say that tumesema to some people it takes the grace of god kwa watu wengine inachukua neema za mungu for them to become patient in life ili wao wavumilivu katika maisha so that's why we say process builds patience kwa sababu tumesema mapito inatengeneza kuvumilia that was our number two huyo hiyo ilikuwa cha pili for those who are not in kwa wale ambao wameingia sasa now we are in number 3 tunaenda sasa hivi tukaya ya tatu number 3 we says that cha tatu tunasema why do we have to go through process with god mbona tupite mapito na Mwenyezi Mungu number 3 cha tatu process helps us mapito inatusaidia to appreciate other people's success Tushukuru watu wengine mafanikio yao. Praise the living God. Amen. Process helps us to appreciate other people's success. Mapito inatusaidia kufurahia mafanikio ya watu wengine. You know there are many people who cannot appreciate others. Watu wengine hawezi kushukuru wengine. When you see someone has succeeded, ukiona kufaulu kwa mwenzako, it becomes very difficult for you to appreciate them. Unanyongwa hivi lakini hawezi kuwashukuru. So when you go through process with God, wakati unapita kwenye mapito na Mungu, when God puts you into test, wakati Mungu anakuwa kwenye majaribu, you will be able to appreciate other people's success utakuwa tayari kushukuru mafanikio ya mwenzio you not be taking people for granted hautachukua watu hivyo hivyo we be appreciating them utakuwa unawashukuru praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe so kwa hivyo there are some people here kuna watu wengine hapa when we we are young wakati tulikuwa wachanga especially the youths haswa kwa vijana we are speaking about our parents so much tunazungumza kuhusu wazazi wetu kabisa because we have not gone through process sababu hatujapita kwenye mapito we are speaking ill about them tunazungumza mabaya kwa husu we are speaking 
making criticizing them each and every way kila wakati unawanua unawanaoumu kwa njia hii na njia ile but we do not know lakini hatufahamu we do not understand hatuelewi they have gone through process to where they are right now kuna mahali wamepita ndio wakafika mahali walipo sasa praise the living god na yesu asifiwe for example when you were, you were young kwa mfano wakati ulikuwa mchanga you have criticizing your parents wakati na wazazi haki wazazi wako talking much more about them kuzungumza mengi kwa husu you are just saying that where was he unauliza kwani alikuwa wapi Where was he or she? Alikuwa wapi? When his colleagues were making it in life. Wakati watu walitengeneza mali babangu alikuwa wapi? They just criticizing. Kuna mdhulumu talking ill about them. Unazungumza mabaya kumuuliza. No, this person has gone through what to become where he is right now. How When we go through process, wakati napita katika mapito, we will able to appreciate other people's success. Tuwe tayari kushukuru mafanikio ya wenzetu. So I have said ndio ninasema when we are in, your, in our youth wakati tuko katika ujana we will not appreciate to washukuru tutawashukuru hatutawashukuru our elders wakubwa wetu because we do not understand and we do not know kwa sababu hatuelewi na tufahamu what they have gone through yale ambayo wamepita we keep on talking about them Tunaenda tu tukiwazungumzia keep on criticizing their ways. Tunaenda tu tuki the haki mapito yao. Where were they? Walikuwa wapi? When his colleagues were making it in life. Wakati wenzao walikuwa wanafaulu, walikuwa wapi? Where do Now see. His his friend is now a, a very big billionaire. Tazama wenzake wako na mamilioni ya mapesa. Where was he when his friends were making it? Alikuwa wapi wenzake wakitengeneza mali? Where was he when his colleagues were making it? Alikuwa wapi wenzake wakitengeneza? We are very quick to criticize these people. Tuko haraka sana kuwa the haki. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Because you have not gone through process with God. Sababu hatijapita kwa mapito na Mwenyezi Mungu. So when it comes, wakati takapowadia, the point when, wakati takapowadia, it is now our time. Sasa ni wakati wetu. You are now a father. Sasa wewe ni mzazi. Now a husband. Wewe sasa ni mume. You have to do so and so. Unafaa ufanye hili na hili. It becomes very difficult. Inakuwa sasa ngumu. Why? Kwa nini? And you remember time back. Na unakumbuka pale nyuma. You are talking about your father. Babangu akokuwa na gari. You are talking about your father. Ulikuwa unazungumza babangu. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are saying where was he? Alikuwa wapi? When his colleagues were making it in life. Wakati wenzake walikuwa wanatengeneza yeye alikuwa wapi? How it is your time? Sasa ni wakati wako. You have a wife, uko na mke. You have a family, uko na familia. You have children, uko na watoto. You have something to take care of. Unayo watu wa kutoa jukumu. Becomes very difficult for you. Inakuwa ngumu kwako. It comes to a point where inafika wakati you are about to be thrown out of your house. Ukwa umefika wakati wewe mwenyewe kutupwa nje ya nyumba yako because of rent issues. Sababu hujalipa kodi. And time back na hapo nyuma you are criticizing your father. Ulikuwa unalaumu wazazi. You are criticizing your guardians. Wakati ulikuwa unalaumu wanaoishi na wewe. Talking ill about them. Kuzungumza mabaya kwa husu. Where were they? Walikuwa wapi? When his colleagues were making it. Wakati wao walikuwa wanatengeneza mali. Yet your father na wewe baba yako was able to pay all these debts. Yeye yeah, alilipa madeni yote ambayo yanakuhusu wewe. He was paid the rent. Alikuwa analipa Kodi he was paying school fees alilipa karo and all these things na hata kukuvalisha praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe you it is just one child wewe tu ni mtoto mmoja it is becoming very difficult na kwa ngumu anadala nja praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe now you come to your senses sasa unarudi kwenye hali yako ya kawaida you remember back unakumbuka when you are criticizing them kumbe baba yangu aliona shida when you are criticizing them haki the same when was he alikuwa wapi when his colleagues were making it wakati wenzake alikuwa anatengeneza praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe so when you go through process wakati unapita kwenye mapito have that profound respect lazima uwe na hii heshima 
will have that profound respect utakuwa na heshima kuu especially for the great haswa especially for the great people kwa watu wakubwa ama wakuu the elderly people watu ambao ni wazee you will appreciate them utawashukuru and this number three we have said na hii ya tatu tunasema process helps us to appreciate other people's success mapito inatusaidia kushukuru mafanikio ya wenzetu it doesn't matter what you you are going through haijalishi nini unapitia remember those your parents had gone through that kumbuka wazazi wako walipitia hapo even though they have not succeeded in education hawajafaulu katika elimu education is just a matter of papers elimu ni kuhusu makaratasi but they have made you they have made you to go to school wamefanya umeenda shuleni you have passed umepita mtihani to where you are you are right now umefika mahali ulifika hapo even the school fees was not sufficient for you hata kare shule haikutosha kwako you have been chased out of school every now and then mara kwa mara unarudishwa nyumbani what you aspired to be kile uliyotamani kukuwa what you wanted to be kile ulikuwa tamani uwe what you want to be kile ulichokuwa uwe you have not become today hauja kuwa vile ulivyofikiria because of school fees issues sababu ya karo because of some other issues sababu ya vitu vingine praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe but you made it lakini ulifika hapo how to thank god nafaa ushukuru mungu that little you have kwa hile kidogo ulicho nacho that knowledge you have kwa hiyo hikima ulio nacho because it takes the grace of god sababu ni neema tu za mungu you to be to a point that you are right now kwa hiyo kuwa mahali ulipo sasa praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe so process helps us kwa hiyo mapito inatusaidia to appreciate other people's success kuru mafanikio ya wenzetu when we go through process tunapopitia mapito we will be able to appreciate these people tutakuwa tayari kuwashukuru kwa so do not commit yourself Usijitoe wewe mwenyewe. Do not commit yourself. Usijiweke. Usijiweke wewe mwenyewe to people who have not gone through the law of process. Kwa watu ambao hawajapita sheria za mapito, we will not appreciate others. Hawatashukuru wengine. When you when you are with them, wakati uko pamoja na wao, you just be talking about others. Utakuwa unazungumzia wengine. When they see a successful person, wakiona mtu ambaye amefaulu, wengine wanasema ali ako illuminati mimi mm. wanasema sio ya kwaadi mm. but you don't know lakini haujui what this person has gone through in life mtu huyu amepitia nini kwa maisha he has gone through process amepitia mapito he has gone through fire amepita kwenye moto for him or her to be at the moment he is right now ili awe venye alivyo sasa Not just talk the way you are talking sio tu kuzungumza vile unavyozungumza just criticize uzue tu mtu wa kudhihaki appreciate these people wakati mwingine kwa mtu wa kushukuru when you appreciate these people wakati na washukuru watu hao is going to bless you mungu anaenda kukubariki is going to take you to the next level mungu anaenda kukuweka katika hatua ya pili you're going to be successful unaenda kuwa mtu ambaye amefaulu praise the living god tusiwe watu wa dhaka let us not criticize people tusiwe watu wa kudhihaki wenzetu let us not criticize our pastors tusiwe watu wa kudhihaki wachungaji let us not criticize our political leaders tusiwe watu wa kudhihaki wanasiasa let us not criticize anybody tusiwe watu wa kudhihaki yeyote ile let us not let us just appreciate them tuwashukuru and god is going to bless us na mungu anaenda kutubariki amen which number are we now number 4 number 4 Before we go to number 4, kabla ya tuende na 4, let us read in the book of 2 Corinthians, wa Corinthians wa 2. Let us read. Second Corinthians 11:27. Wa Corinthians wa 2:11. 27. Korinzo 2:11 27 Katika taabu la masuluhu katika kukesha mara nyingi katika njaa na kiu katika kufunga mara nyingi katika baridi na huwa uchi Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 2 to 7 2 to 7 
Corinthians 2 to 7. Maana na wana ya wivu. Wivu wa mungu kakua na liwaposea mume mmoja. Ili ni mlete kristo vika safi. Lakini nachelea kama yule nyoka alivyo mdanganya hawa. Kwa hila yake asije akawaribu fika zenu. Luka uwacha unyoku na usafi kwa kristo. Maana yeye ajaye akibubiri yesu. Akiubiri yesu mungine amaye sisi hatu, hatu kumubiri. Au mkimpokea roho nyingine msie ipokea. Au injili nyingine msio ikubali. Munatenda vema kufumiliana nae. Praise the living God. Amen. Amen. The Bible is trying to tell us. Bibilia inatueleza. Even if I am unskilled, speak it. Hata kama sina ujuzi. Praise the living God. Wala Yesu asifiwe. I am not so in knowledge. Sina helimu. Indeed, every way. Hata hivyo kila njia. God will make his plan. Mungu atategendeza njia zake. To happen, to happen in your life. Zifanyike katika maisha yako. But I should not be afraid. Kwa hivyo sita ugoba. Just like as the serpent deceived Eve. Vile tu nyoka alivyo mdanganya Eve. Your thoughts will lead you to astray from a sin. Mawazo yako itakuongoza kando na dhambi. Praise the living God. Amen. So you must adhere to the devotions of God. Kwa hivyo lazima uwe tayari kusonga na Mwenyezi Mungu. Praise the living God. Amen. Let not your thoughts wacha mafikiro yako not deceive you. Yes, so we are given here example of a serpent. Tumepewa mfano wa nyoka. This serpent tricked him. Nyoka hii ilimdanganya him. And in the last uh, season the last sermon kwa the last sermon we read last time. Soma but we soma mwisho. We say that the we serpent say, tricked him. Shetani alimdanganya him. By use of a snake. Alikuja kwa mfano wa nyoka. So let us not be deceived in that way. Tusije tutakajanganyika kwa njia kama hii. Let our thoughts not be in that way. Mafikirio yetu yasiwe kama haya. Let us be considering the God's word. Waje tuwe watu wa kutazama neno la Mungu. And we shall go forward. Na tutasonga mbele. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let us also go in the book of 2 Corinthians. Kwa Korinto wa 2:11-27. Korinzo wa pili, kumina moja. Let us go verse 27. 27. Ya sema hivi. Katika taabu na masumbuku, katika kukesha mara nyingi, katika njaa na kiri, katika kukunga mara nyingi, katika maribu na kuwa uchi. Praise the living God. Amen. In hardship, katika ugumu, through pain, machungu, through hunger, hatanja, through thirst often, often, na kuwanja, kuwa na kiu chamaaji, without food also, bila chakula chochote. Also in cold exposure, na hata kwenye baridi na uchi. Praise the living God. God is with us. Mungu yupo moja nas. Hallelujah. Mwana Yesu asifiwe. So, kwa hivyo. Let's go direct to number number four. Number nine. Number four. Number Why three. should we go through process with God? Bona to pita kwenye mapita na mungu. Number three, we said. Kitaru to disema. It helps us to appreciate other people's success. Ina tsaidia ushukuru watu ingine wanapo faulu. Number two, we said. Chapiri to disema. It helps build patience. Inatengeneza kufumilia. Number one we say. Chotatu tulisema. Number one we say. Chakwanda tulisema. It tests the loyalty and commitment to fulfill the destiny. Inatengeneza kujitoa na kuwa na hatima. Praise the living God. Wanaisha sifiwe. Praise the living God again. Wanaisha sifiwe. Kona tupite katika mapito na mwenyezi mungu. 
why do we have to go through process with God in this season? Kona to pick the kumna mayesumu wakato hu. This season of test. Yakati hizi zamejaribu. This season where God is testing us. Yakati hizi ambapo mungu wana tujaribu. Why do we have to go through process? Kona to pick the katika mapito. Number four. Chande. Process helps us to create memories. Mapito inafanga tunakuwa na kumbu kumbu. And experiences. Na kuwa na uzoefu. That will help us sustain the success. Ambayo inatufanya tuwe na mafanikio. That is before us. Hiyo ni kwetu. Praise the living God. Amen. Process. Mapito. Helps us to create memories. Inatufanya tutengeneze makumbu kumbu. And experiences. Na uzoefu. That will help us sustain. Itatusaidia tuwe na thibiti. The success that is before us. Mafanikio ambaya yako mbele yetu. Praise the living God. Wana Yesu asipiwe. Before we go continue on that number four. Kabila tukia indelea. We also see that. There are some people who, has, who, who criticizes others. Kuna watu ambao wanaidhe haki wengine. They say my parent, my uncle. Wanasema wazazi wangu. Wajomba wangu. My friend. Rafiki zangu. My husband, my wife. Muke wangu ama mume, mume wangu. And all other people. Mahatu watu kama hao. Very greedy. Wako na the haki. They are very greedy. Ni wachoyo kabisa. He doesn't give us money. Hawatupati pesa. He doesn't give me money. Hanipi pesa. He doesn't appreciate me in any way or the other. Hani shukuru kwa njia yoyote ile. Praise the living God. Wana Yesu asifiwe. But you know what? Unajua nini? Some sometime wakati mwingine what you criticize God will give you a gift. Kile unacho the haki Mungu atakupa kama zawadi. You are criticizing someone rich. Una the haki utajiri wa mtu. You are criticizing him every now and then. Una the haki kila wakati. God will give you as a gift. Mungu atakupa kama zawadi. You will see it as a breakthrough. Utakiona kama kufanikiwa. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Criticize someone who is rich. Okay. The haki mtu ambaye alitajiri. So God will give you your first 5 million. Atakupa atakupa milioni za kwanza tano. Your first 10 billion. Milioni za kwanza kumi. First 500,000. Shilingi kumi atano za kwanza. So, because you are criticizing. Kwa sababu na the haki. God has given you as a gift. Mungu amekupa kama za wadi. You will see it as a blessing. Na utaona kama you will see it as a breakthrough. Utaona kama kufaulu. But as as it comes. Lakini napa kuja. Somebody comes to you and says. Mutu wana kuja kwa kwa na kusema. We need that five million. Na itaji million ton. Somebody is in the hospital. Kuna mgonjo hospitalini. And that is the only money I saw you in a dream with. Kwa hivyo naomba unisaidie na hizo ambazo mbukuona na. God spoke to me. Mungu ame inenea. So you must give me that money. So naomba unipe pesa hizi. Praise the living God. Kwa na hizo asifiwe. So you remember you are criticized. God has given you as a gift. Mungu amekupa kama zawadi. And that person who is borrowing you. Na Mungu mtu ambaye anakuomba. It's a very close friend. Ni mtu wa karibu. A family person. Ni mtu wa familia wa karibu. That illness that has come. Magonjwa ambayo amekuja. Means that the same amount you are, you are given. Anahitaji zile senti ambazo uko nazo. It is 5 million. Ni milioni 5. You are you are you are being borrowed. Na ambazo ndizo unaombwa. So when this person comes to you, kwa hiyo mtu huwa anapokuja kwako, he tells you, anakuambia, I saw you in a dream. Nimekuona kwenye ndoto. God told me, Mungu amenena. Somebody gave you 5 million. Unazo milioni 5. So you have to give me. Naomba unipe. Unless someone is going to die. Ama mtu afi. <laughs> what will you do? Nafanya nini? Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Don't criticize people. Usiwe mtu wa kudhihaki wewe. Appreciate people. Kuwa mtu wa kushukuru. If you do not appreciate, usipokuwa kushukuru, you criticize. Unapo the heart. God will give you as a gift. Mungu atakufa kama zawadi. He will not help you. Na haitakusaidia. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So you have said, yani tumesema. Process helps us to create memories. Mapipi na tengeneza tu na kumbukumbu. To help 
us sustain the, the success that is before us. Ili tuwe na kudhibiti hatima. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You know there are many people kuna watu wengi by the time you're going to see that huge amount of money. Wakati neno kuona hizi pesa ni mingi. You will run in a way that utakimbia kwa njia ambayo God will ask you. Mungu atakuuliza. Where are you? Unaenda wapi? The way he asked Adam. Aliuliza Adam. The way he asked Moses. Wakati aliuliza Musa. Where are you? Uko wapi? I cannot find you. Sikuoni. I cannot find you. Sikuoni. Not even your children cannot find you. Hata sio watoto wako atakao kuona. Not even your wife cannot find you. Sio mke wako tu atakaye kuona. Not even the pastor cannot find you. Sio tu mchungaji atakaye kuona. God is not seeing you. Mungu hakuoni because you have money. Sababu kuna pesa. Even the destiny will not find you. Hata hatima itakupata. Where are you? Uko wapi? Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think for today we are there. Kwa hivyo siku hii tumefikia hapo because of time. Sababu ya muda. We began by a story. Tulianza na hadithi. But a cat and a dog. Kuhusu paka na mbwa. We say that a cat. Tulisema paka the working of a cat kusungusha kwa mkia wa paka and the working of a dog na kusungusha mpia mkia wa mbwa for those who are not here kwa wale ambao hawakuwepo means two different things inamaanisha vitu viwili tofauti a dog means excitement mungu anaposungusha mkia anaonyesha furaha a dog means excitement mungu anaonyesha furaha a cat means last warning paka naye anaonyesha ishara ya onyo So we say that a dog. Kwa hiyo tunasema mbwa when it swing in its tail like this. Wakati inazungusha mkia wake, means there is joy. Inamaanisha kuna wao furaha. We are happy. Amefurahia. We are together. Tu pamoja. So we are joyful. Tumefurahia sote. We are loving together we are together. Tunasheka sisi pamoja. When a cat swings like this. Wakati panka anazungusha mkia might consume you any time. Anaweza kuduru wakati wote. So it is giving you last one. Kwa hivyo anakupa onyo. So when you see other people laughing with you. Ukiona watu wanacheka na wewe. Some others are not with you. Wengine wanakupa onyo. They are not with you. Hawako pamoja na wewe. For those people whom we we are with. Kwa wale watu ambao tu pamoja na wao. Amen. So I was about to give you another story. Nilikuwa ni wapi hadithi nyingine? But the same cat, the same dog. Kuhusu mbwa because this dog we have seen it has a significant in our lives. Mbwa hawa na tu mbwa huyu ambaye tunaona hapo na maana mingi katika maisha yetu. So we have seen that a cat has no good. Tumeona paka haina kizuri chochote. Is with you but it's not with you. Anacheka na wewe lakini hayuko pamoja na wewe. Dog is with you. Mungu wa pamoja nawe. So let's see another story then we will leave it there. Tupitie hadithi hii kisha tumkamilishe hapo. About a dog. Kuhusu mbwa. Praise the living God. Time is not on our side. And we we'll just uh, put it short. Muda umeisha lakini tutafupisha. About a dog. Another story. Kuhusu mbwa hadithi kuhusu mbwa. So those people are not here. Kwa wale ambao hawakuwepo. In the morning. Asubuhi. So he said that a dog tulisema mbwa doesn't get lost. Haipotei. A dog doesn't get lost. Mbwa hawezi kupotea. When you are walking with a dog, unapotembea na mbwa, you will find out that utampata ama utagundua. It will keep on you in the Anakojewa kojewa kila anapotembea. Wanaweza sifiwe. From one point to another. Hatua nyingine hatua baada ya hatua yeye hukojewa kila mara. So you keep on urinating. Ataendelea na hatua safari ya kukojewa. Anapoenda. Praise the living God. Wanaweza sifiwe. Every now and then. Kila saa, kila wakati. So you you will keep on trying to wonder why. Utashangaa ni nini kinafanyika? Why is it doing this? Mbona yeye anafanya maneno haya? So when I was in the last 10 years miaka 10 zilizopita I came to realize that nilikuja kugundua kwamba I came to realize later in life that nilikuja kugundua baadaye kwa maisha so when dogs keep on marking 
and you relate in where you are going. Wakati mbwa anapokojoa anapoenda safari, and marking territories. Yeah, anaeka alama. Praise the living God. Anaisha sifi. And remember we have said. Tunakutoka tumesema. A dog doesn't get lost. Mbwa hapotei. So when it keeps on urinating on the way. Anapokojoa kwenye safari, next territories. Anatengeneza alama. Nilipita hapa. Praise the living God. Wanaisha sifi. So that one gives us uh, an important thing in our life. Hiyo inatupa kitu cha maana katika maisha yetu. An important teaching. Na funzo nzuri katika Very maisha. Powerful. Ambayo ni ni kuu ama ni muda muhimu. So it took me 10 years to realize that. Ili nikaribu miaka 10 ili nigundue. So this one it helps us. He inatuonyesha ama inatusaidia. But when you have succeeded, kama tumefaulu when you have moved to the next level, kama tumesonga hatua ya pili, remember those people, kumbuka wale watu who ambao stood with you, walisimama na wewe. When you do not remember them, utaanguka. Praise the living God. Amen. Because where you are right now, kwa mahali ulipo sasa, it took some people, ili garimu watu wengine, to sell what they have kuhusa vile walivyokuwa navyo you to become where you are right now ili wao wenye wao ufike mahali uko sasa you just happy uko umefurahia you just you lack nothing hauna haujakosa chochote you are not remembering them lakini hawakumbuki mark the territories weka alama mark the territories weka alama and you are going to move forward Weka alama kwenye miliki zako na utasonga mbele. The greatest sensations. Katika ufalme mkuu. Praise the living God. Wanaheshimiwa. So when you when the time comes when you come back. Wakati atakapowadia unaporudi sasa. These people are going to welcome you. Watu wanaenda kukukaribisha. So when you do not make kama uweke hizo alama. Kama uwasaidie wale wale wakusaidia siku moja utakuja ukue mzee wale wale watu ndio watakuwa wanakusaidia lakini kama wewe kuwasaidia kama wewe kuwasaidia juu alikusaidia kufika mahali umefika to be very difficult so a dog is helping us to learn this kujifunza mark the territories kuweka alama kwenye miliki so that when we come back tutakaporudi So we say that when a dog comes back mbwa anaporudi because it was urinating on the way sababu alizikoja kwenye safari akua tu ana nusa ana nusa anapoenda sasa hizi potea na kufuata tu hizo mpaka alipotoka atafika amen 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 and we are going to finish there amen amen It's time for the season of God part 3. Wakati ujao mapito ya Mungu sehemu ya tatu. Let us come early. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 We the goodness of the Lord. Yes. Ili tufurahie ukuu wa Mwenyezi Mungu. Because God's time is perfect. Kwa sababu wakati wa Mungu ndio wakati tunaofaa. Luke 9:22 Luke 9:23 we said Luka 9:22 It's never too late Sio haujachelewa that in God all things are possible Kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kila jambo linawezekana So next time let us come on Wakati mwingine wakati ujao tuje mapema so that we do not keep on repeating ili tusirudie rudie Praise the living God Amen Thank you very much. Ongeza makofi jamii, piga makofi mazuri. Piga makofi mazuri. Haleluya! Haleluya! Sasa mafundisho ikikuja na muna hiyo si mimi nafaa kukaa chini tu. I love this judge. Mwambie jirani just come up. Just come up. Hey! Tukienda hivyo mimi nitakuwa na kazi rahisi sana. Amen. Tumisha usemi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Tukienda hivyo, if we go that way, 
nitakuwa na kazi rahisi sana. It be so easy. Amen. Sitasumbuka. No struggle. Na sitakuwa na stress. No stress. In fact, hata Sunday zingine za sakaa tu nyumbani. In fact, I just sit at home. Amen. Bwana asubuha. And you know, you people you came late. Yinyi mmekuja kuchelewa. Na hata tukisema turudie if we repeat atuweze rudia bila alihubiri we won't repeat as he did sasa hii inamaanisha it shows if you want to get it right ukitaka kupata vizuri you must purpose to come early lazima ujitoe uje mapema na unaona nimeruhusu aendelee kwa sababu masomo ilikuwa mzito we have given him time because the word was so powerful si kutaka kukatisha we do not want to short kwa sababu ilikuwa mzito because the word was powerful na Mungu ametenda and God has done and i hope umebarikiwa na dani wa blessing na umepata sehemu yako kwa sababu you are weak in your heart a time has come brethren kwani tumefika wapendwa we need to equip ourselves fully tunahitaji tuwe tayari na silaha each one of us kila mmoja wetu Because this is a church where everybody is somebody. Sababu kanisa hili kila mtu ni mtu. Today is me. Leo hii ni mimi. And today tomorrow is you. Na kesho ni wewe. So you need to equip yourself fully. Kuwa tayari na silaha at all times. At all times. To deliver. Ili uwe tayari kutoa. I was happy uh, last week. Juma leo people nilifurahi sana. The young man was supposed to preach. Yeye ilikuwa ahubiri. But because of matatu issues on the way, kwa sababu ya magari kwa barabara, he happened to be late. Akaja kuchelewa. So I appointed my brother. Alichagua ndugu yangu. And I talked to I, I told him. Nilimwambia, my brother you are preaching. Wewe unahubiri. And I don't know what you are going to preach. Sijui nenda kuhubiri nini. Because you have a bible. Sababu nayo Biblia. Preach. Sasa wewe hubiri. So I sat down. Na akakaa chini. And I delivered. Na akahubiri. Perfectly na vizuri sana when the coastal changes we are like soldiers kanisa ya kipentecost we don't have excuses hatuna sababu you have you could have prepared me earlier ungeniambia juzi ama jana prepare today kuwa tayari leo so tomorrow ili kesho when we are appoint you hapo kuchagua any time you don't have any excuses because you are a soldier sababu 